Hello and welcome to the 18 tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at setting the sprite rotations. We'll be using the source code from the 12 tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Okay, so let's just go ahead and open up our project. Similar to setting a sprite position, you can set the sprite rotation, which rotates it absolutely relative to its original rotation, aka zero. Hence, applying this form of rotation multiple times won't have any effect. So, what we're going to do is do sprite dot set rotation, and you just pass in a float variable. I'm going to pass in 45, and as usual, what I'm going to do is comment this out. So you can see what it looks like before and after. Okay, there we go, we've got it, and this is how it looks like before we rotate it. And now let's just comment this out, I mean uncomment it. And now it's rotated at 45 degrees. Bear in mind that S from our rotates the sprite around its origin point, which by default is 0, 0 here, aka at the top left of the sprite. What we're gonna do is copy and paste this several times so that totals 180 degrees but as you will see in a moment it is still in the same rotation of 45 degrees because set rotation just sets it to that rotation it doesn't rotate it relative to its current rotation you can also get the let's just delete this second get this sprite rotation and to do that it's really simple all you do is sprite dot get rotation and this returns a float variable I'm just going to print it out let's rerun our application and it prints out 45 there we go zoom in so you can see it a little better there you go and that is it really uh, when you're getting the float variable if you're not going to be changing the rotation afterwards try and assign it to a variable because that will be less overhead instead of calling a small function every single time there is also another method for rotating a sprite which rotates it relative to its current rotation hence this is useful for applying multiple rotations this will be covered in the next tutorial if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube all the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and i hope you have a great day